the all the whole thing they were teaching in school, I could not concentrate because I kept on wondering and, and I kept on trying to wrap my head around the whole thing. Like, why would this guy want me to come and see him without informing my roommate and my said boyfriend then? Like, why? Like, is it that he has an interior motive? What is that thing that he wanted to discuss with me that is so important that I cannot tell my roommate and my uh, boyfriend? Now, to crown it all, before he ended that conversation, you know what he said? He said, when I'm coming, that I should come with few clothes listen that day was on a friday he said i should come with few clothes because i will not be going back that day yes that i will not be going back that day and i was like few clothes they i said like which clothes like how many clothes he said like two or three clothes i was like okay i said okay no problem two or three clothes I said, okay i said but i don't have transportation how am i going to do this same vagabond to show you how manipulative and stingy he is he tell me to make a still go borrow from person <laughs> he said, "Make I still go borrow from person? Then go use the money comes here. Then when I they go back, he go give me the money for the transport and the one where I borrow. He go give me the money together. I go use and go back. I say, hey, I say, well, it's okay. So I checked, I checked. It. I said, no, this is not something I can I can hide or I could hold to myself. I immediately took my phone and I called my boyfriend. I said, my boyfriend picked in. You know, of course, we talk. I said, see, there is a problem. Or he said, what is it? And he, and I said. See this your friend, Daniel. He called me while I was at home. And he said I should come and see him in his little location. Room. And he said I should not tell you and I should not tell my roommate. Bagam, my boyfriend shock. He was like, I don't he don't understand. I said, yes, so and he called me when I was at home preparing to go to lectures. And he said I should come and see him and I should not tell my roommate and I should not tell him. You understand? So he was like. Is it that we just nyash never do am? So he want nyash, we just still want call nyash me join. <laughs> so so he want nyash, we just still want call nyash me join. And say you no know, understand. I said that so. He say make him tell me what it go happen. Say if me and am say if I should step an inch from that school. And say I'm going to go and see him. First of all, number one, is to make I forget the relationship. That is number one. Number two, make I carry for mind. Say as I go see him for that little location, in go knock me. Even if I no agree, in go knock me. And even if I no agree, the the the, the colleagues the way they they go tell me say go ask me say wait to carry me come there, wait to carry me go see him. Say in go knock me. I can say okay oh, so I don't hear. When I went, when it was around 12 1, because that was on a Friday, I, I said it earlier. So I'm getting home. This guy kept on calling me, started calling me again, started calling me. So I picked the call. And I was not like, please, but I want to ask him a question that if I should start coming now and my boyfriend calls me, that uh, what would I tell my, what would I tell him? Or where would I tell him that I am at that moment? He said, I should tell my boyfriend that I'm going to the village to go and see my brothers because then my brothers were in boarding school. And currently at that period, they were on holiday. So and I said, okay, that what if he now insists that he wants to talk to my my brother, Sunko, and he maybe I should give them phone for him to, you know, talk to them, you know, as per future, future in-laws, you understand? Prospective in-laws then. So how far? Say, say what, what would I do? He said eh, that I should tell my boyfriend that my phone is down, then I should switch off my phone. Like, I should switch off my phone for three days i should switch up my phone for three days and my boyfriend no go suspect say something they saw i was like wow i said wow i was like okay it's okay no problem i reminded him again of the transport this guy said i should still borrow he still insisted on me borrowing i was not like okay no problem so around two o'clock he was calling i was not picking two thirty three o'clock and i was not really giving him any positive feedback did you know what this guy now did he now sensed that I was not coming. This guy now went to my back and called that his girlfriend, which is my roommate, and told my girlfriend that I am calling him to spoil her name before him. Oh. And I won't take up this thing. He, he called my roommate, tell my roommate, say, I call her for phone. They tell her, say, make him break up with my roommate. Say, my roommate is a bad person. Say my roommate's no good for him. Say my roommate they sleep around. So say I call and they spoil her name for being day. You see the way we're in the try to join our head together. Ba? Now this is my roommate I say Akbana where she be. <laughs> Sorry to use this word. <laughs> when he when he called her, she was not around. She was not in the in the lodge. So she was still coming back from school. 